So we've just made it to a Ling, -a -ling waterfall um, from Ubud this morning. It was a long car ride over a bunch of mountains. So it ended up being like an hour 45, maybe even two oh, hours. It was more like than two, two hours. hours. Yeah. So it was a long drive in this morning. Um, but this is like the waterfall that I've been wanting to go to. It's where everyone goes. When you show up, you have to buy a ticket with a guide. It was 125,000 per person. It's so like 10 Canadian dollars ish. Um, and they give you a guide, which will show you around all of the different waterfalls. I think we're going to a couple and there's some cliff jumping and then they're sliding down one of the waterfalls, kind of like a water side. So super exciting. Um, and you can't swim in a Ling, -a -ling waterfall because it is a holy waterfall. So you can take pictures, you can see it, but you can't swim inside. Got our bathing suits on, we're ready to go. I'm super tired, I tried to sleep in the car, but I was getting a little car sick because the mountain pass was so windy. Um, but we're excited. I'm sure it's your hands here. <laughs> I'm not going to put some of I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to Well, everyone's getting a little scared here, not gonna lie. But they're so brave. No, it's not scary at all.
last of the cliff drums there. This one is about 15 meters. The one that you saw us do is 10. We're all too scared to do this one. But our guide, you saw he just did it. Um, and I saw one of the other guides, but these guys have been standing up there for so long trying to debate whether or not they're gonna do it. I just off the bat said, no, no thank you. But this one's pretty high. Carson's done a higher one than this before. When we were at Silver Spring, is where we go camping every year. I have not done a higher one. Was the one I just did higher than Silver Spring? Then I have not done a higher one than Silver Spring. <laughs> a ling a ling this is the holy waterfall so you're not allowed to come in it but it is absolutely gorgeous And the tired is blue on our car for our private driver. Look at this. It's so flat. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. He's propped it up on a rock like a tire on, uh, tire jack here. We finally put the spare on and the spare is flat <laughs> so we're kind of fixing it right now but i don't know if you it was cool seeing him change the tire i've never seen someone change the tire before and i've never had to so it was a cool process to see but it's less cool when the spare tire gets put on and then it starts going flat we're literally in the middle of this mountain pass <laughs> like look at this <laughs> Like we're in a mountain pass right now um, and we're driving on not only a spare tire but a spare tire that is flat also. There's a huge nail in our original tire though so <laughs> both of them are out of service. Um, I have no idea what we're gonna do. Oh we have a friend though. We are at Handara gate which is like the famous gate here in Bali and you'll see it in a second. I don't know what else there is here to be honest. And we had a flat tire and changed it, but the spare tire was out of air too. So he's gonna go try and get some air for the spare tire. We're gonna hang out at the gate for a bit and hopefully he comes back soon with the car all good to go. We'll see, but let's check out the famous gate first. Iconic Gabe charges $50,000 a person for a ticket, which is like just under five Canadian dollars. Got a lot of money for the fact that it's literally just a gate that you just get to go take a picture of. Not only that wasn't really the factor that made us not go, what made us not go was that it's an hour and a half wait to go up to take your picture and it's a ticket system like going to the registry like you take a number and then they call your number and you get to go up and you get to take your picture in between the gates. Everyone just stands around and waits for their number and he said it was gonna be an hour and a half wait and it just feels a little gimmicky so we're standing back here even though the man told us that we're not allowed to be here um, unless we buy a ticket we're just standing back here looking at the gate so we save some money and we don't have to wait around for an hour and a half for our turn so i think everyone gets five minute photo sessions anyways everyone else what do you guys think 
<laughs> and a scam. And also, what's stopping me from just taking off running and just sprinting through the gates? Are they gonna tackle me? Like, they're gonna take money out of my pocket? I'm considering it. Yeah, no, I think I'm good. No, just, I took a couple pictures from here. And that's fine. I don't need a full photo shoot. We got some strawberries on the road because we're up high so they can grow them here. But he said they're not sweet, they're more sour. So let's try them out. We're gonna try them. Oh, they are sour. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. They're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super good, but they're you sour. Sweet? Sweet? Yeah. Okay. So, we finally made it to the last stop of the tour. This is Ulan Danu. It is a Hindu temple that's on the middle of this lake. We're kind of high up in the mountains right now, and it is beautiful so we're gonna go explore um it was seventy-five thousand each to get in here which is like just under seven canadian dollars and also they didn't offer me a sarong and they didn't say anything about the way any of us are dressed and we all have our shoulders or knees uncovered so i don't know what the dress code is but the gardens look beautiful so we're gonna walk around and explore <laughs> So we're here and it's maybe 25 and it's cloudy and now all of a sudden the Canadians here start saying that they're cold and putting sweaters on as if they hadn't been making fun of me for saying it's been cold when it's 25 this whole time and as soon as they get here and it's 25 they say oh it's cold so I'd like to point out that 25 is quite cold and anyone who says otherwise is a fool live in Asia and never experience cold that's my life plan <laughs> You, uh, uh, no uh, what can you say now? I'm not cold anymore, <laughs> so. So for 10,000, you can feed the koi fish and they lose their minds. So Taylor and I are going. kind of strange to be honest yeah it was like it, it was a lot less temple-y than the temples yeah. usually are I like big enchanted forest energy with just really weird random statues yeah it was very pretty with the lake the lake was really nice with the mountain view but and the temple was really nice too but yeah there's a lot of random stuff which was fine was yeah a little strange but the views are very good. Yeah. So that's our last stop today. We're headed back into Ubud. We're gonna go, it's like an hour and a half from here and we're gonna go get some dinner. So I think we're gonna go back to our favorite spot we found on our first night. And then tomorrow's big festival, which I will tell you about tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna see what the options are for spas and stuff like that. Cause apparently a lot of stuff's gonna be closed. So we'll see you then.
So I'm dressed. This is the bed. That's the bowl of gunky water that they use to wash my face. As you can hear, it's like super loud in the door. And there's enough rooms through there. Let's go see Carson. He's apparently waiting for me outside. This place was super weird. You can see like through to all the other rooms through there. So we just finished our massage at this place. I'll update you in a second. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm safe, I'm going to explain the situation. So today is Galungan Day, which is similar to New Year's. So that's what today is. Um, but that kind of explains why we were having trouble finding somewhere to go to the spa today, which is what we originally wanted to do. So we've come to this Tino's restaurant down this alley three times now. It is our favorite spot to go. And right next to it, they have Tino's like spa. So we thought we were having trouble finding any literally anywhere else that was open. So we thought we'd give it a shot. It's like I said, kind of in this weird alley, but we love Tino so much and the food is so good that we were like, let's give it a shot. And it was not very good. It was average. It was super, super cheap. I got an hour long massage and it was 90,000. And then I got a 45 minute facial for 70,000, which is like six Canadian dollars. So it was basically free, um, but it was super weird. The entire thing is like just one big room and the massage rooms are separated by curtains. So you can hear everything. And the first room you could just see right into. And then there's the chairs where people are doing foot massages and the whole thing is just dimly lit so it feels kind of dingy. They do offer the flower baths or the milk baths but I saw the bathtub and it's literally just in this dimly lit corner of the room. It just looks like kind of a sketchy bathtub that I probably would not have gotten in anyways. So I opted not to do the milk bath. I did like, get the massage and the facial though and it was very okay. But like I said, it was cheap. You get what you pay for. That's what the review said. You get what you pay for. So that's the story of how this kind of came to be, where we had lunch at Tino's and I'm sitting in Tino's right now, we're ordering dinner for takeaway because like I said, a lot of stuff is closed and we are headed to Lombok tomorrow. So we're just gonna go home and have a chill night. But yeah, super, super weird experience and I had to do it all by myself because Tanya and Carson got foot massages. So I was just back, I was in the far corner too against the wall. And I don't know if I would recommend, but we didn't get to have the big food um spa day like lots of people get that's okay but we got to learn lots about this really cool holiday that's happening and it's been super nice seeing everyone prep for it so you win some you lose some so me and mom went to the same place and got foot massages just 30 minute foot massages for fifty thousand, so less than five dollars we thought why not so we we're sitting beside each other just getting them two nice ladies came they were chatting to each other in indonesian the whole time but it's exactly what you expect the massage was quite good felt nice cheap no complaints at all for me i'd do it again huh? it was good we got a little late massage and then we went and walked so today is Golungan Day, which is kind of like New Year's in Balinese culture. And basically, the ancestral spirits walk among us today on the island of Bali. That's what the people believe. All of the people are dressed up in their traditional clothing and they take the day off as a holiday. And they go to the temples to make offerings and pray to slash with their ancestral spirits. And if the spirits are happy with what they see, then the next year will be prosperous for them. So it's very important to make sure that your ancestors are happy. This day is very, very important for the future. And because of that, a lot of stuff in Bali is closed down today. 
Um, so I'd say about 50% of the shops are open. A lot of the local warangs obviously are closed down. And the people have been preparing for this day for like three days now. We've been seeing them all prepare. It started off with slaughtering their pigs for the feast and before an offering, which I didn't appreciate very much, but it's part of the culture. Um, and then they make these huge, huge poles that are called Per, per John's, I'll put on the, the name on the screen. And um, they put them outside of their house along with the little banana leaf offering. And our driver was saying it's kind of a competition. They decorate these poles very beautifully and it's kind of a competition sometimes. And especially like newlyweds have really, really um, beautiful poles. So this day, it's like New Year's. Here in Bowling Culture, it's super cool to see everyone out and about spending time with their families and get to experience this holiday. But, trying to get massages today and I think a lot of places are going to be closed so we might end up going to this kind of sketchy one we'll see I've been chatting with spas on whatsapp all day and all of the really nice ones are closed for the day so I don't think I'm going to be getting the flower bath facial experience that I wanted but I've had my expectations curved because we knew that this day was coming our driver told us about it on our first day so we've known that this is the holiday that is happening um so expectations are on the floor there's only up from here like cousin and i said before bali has a really really strong and unique culture and like we said everyone is such an active participant in it it's really different than a lot of the other places we've seen because um everyone is so actively involved in it and it's just so unique and like really vibrant like i think this is the most vibrant of the cultures that we've seen so it's really cool to see everyone getting ready and everyone participating and celebrating in this and just having a fun time like the kids are out and they're hanging out with their friends they're hanging out with their brothers and sisters it's really really cool i love bali i was so pleasantly surprised by bali we are on our way to get the duck we're walking down the street Tanya is a pro walking down the streets of Asia now. She's sliding right in with me in person. And our eight months of experience we have. <laughs> okay, we're looking for the duck place. The Batutu duck. And we've gone down this crazy alley over the riverside. I have no idea where it is, if I'm being honest. It should be here soon. Let's hope. Just in this residential area. And like I said, I don't know if many tourists buy the duck or the chicken because it was literally just recommended to us by our guy. And oh. I think we're pulling up. Is it this? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. This is it. The duck. Let me get my work. Get my WhatsApp open. Hello. Uh, for the duck? Yeah. All right. Uh, I need to pick up duck. No. Is it working? Yeah, I need to No, fine. No? Close. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you. They're getting the duck. They said it was closed, but that's because they thought I didn't order ahead of time. But I did. Thank you. No, no problem. 1.30? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you thought that wouldn't work. Everyone was doubting me. <laughs> we, have our, we have our garbage bag duck. Yeah. <laughs> We're all set. We got it. Let's go this way. You cannot say that I don't shop local here in Asia, okay? Say one thing, say I shop local. <laughs> okay, here's the famous the tutu duck reveal. Is it gonna be good? That's one garbage bag. Guys, I'm a little nervous. Oh wow, look, it's like in charcoal. Let me video. Is that a whole duck? This is cool. Let's find out. I don't see that either. Yeah. Look, it's in charcoal. 
Did you see it, Mom? It's like charcoal. This is what goes in the ground. Oh. What are you doing? Okay, there you go. Look at that. Okay, so many. It comes in this charcoal bundle. They clearly wrap it in leaves and put it underground. What's open? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh wow. Smells good. Oh my. Oh, it's not bad. Good close up. Okay, came in the nice way with the leaves all grilled up, and that's it. So, I'm gonna try it out and you'll see that. Okay, we're gonna try. Long journey to get here, but we're gonna try the Batutu duck. 12 hours cooked in banana leaves underground. Old lady gave it to us. I don't know what to expect, but... Ready, Mom? Yeah. This tastes like meat. Oh, nothing special. It's quite good. Is it seasoned? Yeah. Oh. It's got a nice flavor to it. Like, it does have a lot of flavor. Right, Mom? My pizza. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mine had a lot of flavor. It's like very rich and savory spiced up like Indonesian style. I think it's quite good. Yeah, and Person as authentic as they come. The camera turns on and you act like you have to start shouting at it. Like. <laughs> no, but you do. No, you don't. So, excited about his duck. <laughs> so I'm quite happy about the duck, to be honest. I think this is as authentic as they come. And it's quite good. It's unique. I'm happy. Mama will like it, don't worry. She'll come around. Mm -hmm.